Bring in Aaron Cohen, Israeli special operations veteran. Aaron, as we see these pictures, as we hear the report from here about this special operation happening at the Al Shifa hospital, you have said near the start of the war when we spoke that Israel has perfected the craft of counterterrorism special operations. So what type of preparation goes into executing an operation like this? So this is a, a, a very creative endeavor. Um, and like I said, and as you just mentioned, uh, Israel's got a lot of experience with counterterrorism. So what you're seeing right now with this particular operation, I want to unpack it a little more uh, detailed. There's a lot of planning that went into the Al Shifa um, operation, and there's multiple layers. Uh, the first one is getting the IDF uh, uh, is very concerned with the civilians inside that hospital. And from what I understand, what I believe is they're they're only dealing with a section or dealt with a section of that hospital. Wherever the doctors were and those infants and preemies were being held, the IDF was very, very quick to deliver hundreds of pounds worth of baby food, as well as several dozen incubators because they were in contact with the hospital, understood the needs of the hospital, regardless of what's being put out to the world, and got several dozen uh, incubators to those preemies. So that was conducted in one section of the hospital. Another piece to the operation, the second piece, um, is the actual physical uh, uh, making entry of our of Israel's commando forces to be able to get to all of the Hamas terrorists or militants that are using that hospital, which was declassified yesterday by the U.S. Department of Defense after cooperating United States gathered intelligence, mm -hmm. releasing it publicly, understanding that it is an act, an, an actual command and control structure. So the IDF is deployed potentially four units. The first one is going to be the S-13 unit, which is equivalent to Israel SEALs. The second one is their explosives ordnance disposal unit. The third would be their dog unit called Oketz, which has been the art, the angels of those tunnels. It's helped them map out the entire, uh, entire tunnel structure. They've got GPS, they've got cameras. They can race through those tunnels safely, bring back real-time intel. And the point is to get to those hostages if they are, in fact, being held underneath. And if not, to eliminate those terrorists. There could be several dozen. There could be 100 underneath that bunker or dug in underneath that hospital. So it's been segregated. It's been separated. But it's been a rescue and supply effort in conjunction with an assault. But I can assure you the tactics that they're using is what's, is what's called limited penetration. These units are trained to move what's called slow and deliberate. Hmm. And what that does is it reduces risk to innocents within the hospital who are being used as shields, also right. reduces risk to the IDS. These are very specific tactics that are being done, but they can switch on a dime, Anna, and go into hostage hmm. rescue mode, which those Israeli SEALs are trained in, to be able to go very quickly if hostages present itself. And I think we would assume that that's part of this mission, that they're looking for potential hostages being held in and around the vicinity of this hospital. Our understanding is that Al-Shifa has been devastated for weeks now by all the intense fighting around it and now even inside that hospital. So one, how many people do you think are part of this operation? How long do you think those Israeli forces will stay? And should they, in your mind, maintain control until this hospital is functional again? Well, so those are all good questions. I want to start with the first part. I think devastation isn't the correct term here. The skirmishes that have happened have mainly happened outside of the structure of the Al Shifa Hospital. Though that's been enabled to that's that's in order to be able to sterilize sterilize and be able to neutralize Hamas militants who created a perimeter around that structure. Israel needed to neutralize those terrorists. Again, those are very selective gunfights. There's a use of snipers, sharpshooters to be able to drop those pockets of terrorists who were physically surrounding that hospital to sterilize it, specifically one corner where those supplies could be delivered. That's the most important piece right now to Israel. I don't think I need to sell that piece. A lot of footage there that Israel's releasing. And Israel's getting better at the, uh, at the PR game, that fifth front of showing the world all the war crimes being committed. But regarding the actual operations within the hospital, again, it's very selective. Those units are trained to move very slow and deliberately in order to be able to reduce having any muzzles cross any patients, any civilians, any doctors. But I can tell you there's an open dialogue that's happening with Israel's intelligence services in perfect Arabic with the hospital staff who's asking the IDF for help. Uh, so, again, a lot of misinformation getting spread out there. So those units that are going in, um, as far as numbers, 
you know, this, there could be several hundred uh, 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 commandos involved with this operation. The dog unit, the EOD explosives unit, there could be wires, there could be bombs inside there, booby traps. Uh, we've seen weapons that have been recovered from these hospitals in the last few days. Uh, several of them, not just Al Shifa, as they were... Uh, as they were clearing one of the other hospitals, uh, RPGs, uh, uh, anti-tank right. mortars, real military-grade staging. So there could be several hundred commandos involved here, along with intelligence assets. As far as how long this will take, Israel's got a lot of experience. Uh, uh, Israel has taken, has, has conducted operations within hospitals before, dating all the way back to 2015, okay. because those hospitals are for these types of ops. So... As far as the length, I don't think it's going to take long to clear the hospital to get through it. Are we and then once they get hours down there, or days or, or weeks? Yeah, they're going to move on. Say again? Hours, days, or weeks? Uh, I, I think the actual operation shouldn't take more than a day or two to get this entire okay. structure cleared and get those supplies in. And then the key here, and what Israel is interested in, it's not sitting on that hospital. It's getting real-time actionable intel, Anna. So they can move on, which Israel's been doing really quickly here, getting real-time information. Uh, Hamas has been documenting and, and has a ton of uh, intel that they're kind of leaving out. All their operational plans, Israel's getting it, feeding it back to the IDF high command so they can move on to the next structure. I see. Continue to flush out where those hostages are. The hostages are the main concern right now.